just going to make a short video on how to get started with Bitcoin mining. The software I am using as a Bitcoin miner is called cgminer.exe. You'll need a fairly good graphics card to do Bitcoin mining. If you don't have a fairly modern graphics card such as an AMD, upwards of 4 series, preferably 6 series, 7 series, you won't be able to run it sufficiently to warrant the power usage in my opinion. Nvidia cards are notoriously not very really good at Bitcoin mining, but they do work, they're just slower than the AMD equivalent. And as for Intel like HD onboard graphics, they, that isn't compatible with any Bitcoin mining software to my knowledge. So only mine if you've got an Nvidia or preferably an AMD, a decent AMD graphics card. First of all, load up Google, then write CG Miner, CG Miner. Press enter, go to the first site. When that loads, it says all files from here. Click that and then, and then click uh, Window CG Miner 3.01 Windows sort of zip. Download that. Open with Windows Explorer. When you've done that, extract it to a folder in preferably somewhere on another partition or on your C drive in a place that you know like users and your name like make a new folder here new folder yeah you got you know what to do make it right extract the folders there when you've got the folders extracted you'll see I'll go here CG miner that's where mine is mine's all here right you'll see all the files do not run this program directly from here but it needs to be run from the command line the quickest way to get this to be run for the command line, the easiest way is to make a batch file. So in order to make a batch file, the first thing you have to do is go to organize up here, then go to folder and search options, then go to view, and then untick, uh, where is it? Untick hide extensions for known file types, untick it, apply and okay it. This, this needs to be done because you need to save it at as a dot .bat batch file not dot .bat dot .text as it would do if you had the file extensions enabled so right click go to the folder that you've extracted the folder so you right click go to new go to text document load the text document up and write Write in cgminer.exe space hyphen o to open. Then the pull pull uh, URL. You need to sign up on a pull site. I recommend deepbit.net. So go to deepbit.net, register account, register a worker name on there, and you the, and then enter the uh, URL after colon o for open space add the url there and the port number as 8332 put a space u and then your work and then minus notions at gmail.com underscore ben r o g e and then put another space and hyphen p and then put your password in there or a space after the p i'll just do that quick put the my password in copy and paste i mean paste that in Right, and then go to file and save file and save as and write mining dot bat and then go to file save as and then, and then down here when it says save as type with all files and then change change it to mining dot bat. You do not you don't have it saying dot text. All files and that as if let's change it. So I'll change it back. Change it to dot bat b a t. Then go to save. Right. Then you'll have your complete thing there. For I didn't mention very very clearly about signing up to Deep Bit. This is a, a site that the, the uh, Deep Bit. This is a site that the. Uh, mining software connects to in order to find blocks and do the work basically and just just go right deep bit d e e p bit into google or go to deepbit.net 
and then click on register. It's, this site is a bit slow because I think they need more powerful servers or more bandwidth, something or other. I don't know. Well, it, it works. And then sign up for that. I've already signed up to it, but when you've signed up, you will have to choose a work name and a password. But it's, it's simple. And then you have my account. I'll click on my account here and I'll show you what it looks like when you log into your account. Right? It, it shows you with the. Your current rate, that's actually really slow because I'm, I don't know why it's actually that slow. It says your email address there. It says your average in the last five minutes, mh a second, is mega hash a second. You can set the minimum for automatic payment. And, and the worker names are down here. The worker names are down there. Just covering up my passwords. The bottom one is the one I'm using, but just click, click create new worker if there isn't one there and set a password to it. And then that is the details you need in that batch file I was referring to earlier. So basically, you have that batch file, but right? the other thing you need is a Bitcoin wallet. What I use is, some, is a site called Blockchain. Blockchain. Dot info as you see here uh, there blockchain right comes out of that uh, go go to wallet go to start new wallet write an alias password confirm the password now in the capture go to continue it might send you an email uh, to verify your account I can't remember now because I did this a while ago but verify your account and then this is basically your Bitcoin wallet is where you receive and send payments in Bitcoin, BTC, currency. You receive them from DeepBit, from the DeepBit site. You can set automatic payments at 0 0.01 BTC and you can, whatever you want, upwards I think of 0 0.01 BTC. And when you want to make a payment you just follow what it says it it says it, on the deep bit site it says I'll show you and I would if I was logged into it let me log in a second right see on the deep bit site when I'm logged in you have your wallet address this wallet address here you give the people when they when you want them to send you money, give them that address. You can send me money to that if you want. I don't mind. Right. And then you have here your total received, total sent, and final balance. As you can see here, I've sent 0.102 bitcoins. I've received a total of 0.2835, etc. And I've got a final balance of 0.1815 BTC. Right. And uh, when you want to send money, you just click send money. You enter the Bitcoin address there, copy and paste it, so you see there's a Bitcoin amount there, and it automatically comes out of the translation, the uh, currency conversion of the BTC to pound sterling in this case, or dollars if you set it to dollars. When you're setting up uh, Bitcoin and verifying it, you can verify it with a phone or an email address, I chose a phone, so and then you can change the currency, but it says, but it do that doesn't matter as much anyway. Make sure your Bitcoin address is secure. Make your blockchain address is secure, sorry. And also make sure that you keep a note of your identifier. When it says welcome back, please enter your login details below. Keep a note of that as you'll need it. Save it in Notepad somewhere and back it up. Because if you lose that, it's a nightmare to get your blockchain back because you don't have much to work with if you've, if you've forgotten your identifier other than the alias. If you forget both of them, you're stuffed. You've lost all your block, your, all your bitcoins. So just remember to do that. So yeah, hopefully, when you run that batch folder that I was on about earlier, you'll get a screen like this. That there is what it's doing at the moment. That's 407.3 or 4 megahashes a second. Top left is your average, 5 second average of 407.1 oh sorry, yeah, and the average overall is uh, 40, 406.6 
Yeah, uh, if you have any questions, reply to this, because this hasn't been as clear as I wanted it to be. Thanks a lot for watching, and bye. Subscribe if you like. Cheers.